the safe room now. Uh, we need to talk. Something has just come up. checking the servers for information about this place. I came across employee files and records, all right? I kept browsing through, and guess what? There's no Matthew Porter in our files. Everybody calm down. There's gotta be an explanation. Of course there is, and I believe now is a good time for it. Stop talking already. If only you would let him. I work for an intelligence agency. The Central Intelligence Agency? The CIA? Jesus Christ, Matthew, if that's your real name. That is my real name. I swear, and no, I don't work for the CIA. The CIA is a cover for the public. You guys really think that a company that spies and assassinates all over the world would have that much notoriety? They even have a fucking website. Everybody knows about the CIA. That's what they refer to when they're talking about spying, because it's easy to understand. So who the fuck are you working for? I'm working for my superior. What do you mean? I mean, I don't even know who I'm working for. What? As I said, CIA is a cover, a symbol. When recruited at Langley, you think you're gonna work for the CIA? <sighs> you study everything, and you do what you're told. And one day a guy comes up to you in a suit and has a chat with you. After that, you officially cease to exist. Then, they test you for days, weeks, months even. After that, you keep getting piss on assignments after assignment. Follow this guy, steal this, run surveillance, or whatever. And you just do it without asking questions. And one day, they stick a GPS inside your body so they keep a leash on you and send you out to do whatever the fuck they want. And in all that time, the only one person I ever had contact with was my superior. Apart from that, I didn't know anyone. Are they listening right now? No. That's the problem. Since the entire event has started, I wasn't able to contact my superior. But chances are, they noticed and have traced my last known position, which means they're probably on the way. Why were you sent here anyway? Why? What do you mean, why? Don't you see what's going on? Look around you! A secret underground base filled with insane inmates and soldiers that kill their own personnel? Hello? You mean, you guys don't even know what this place is? I thought this facility belonged to the government. Do you people even know what the government is? You think it's a room full of politicians that make decisions? There is no government. The president, the democracy, it's all a bunch of fucking lies. They feed you bullshit because that is what you want to hear. Because you can't handle the truth. 
You're saying there is no government? <laughs> what a pile of crap. Yes, there is. But it's not what you think. The government isn't just a handful of people, or even a hundred for that matter. The government is system after system built on top of system and institution. Take one system or institution out, and another one replaces it. It's a pyramid. Everybody does what they're told by the person, the system, or institution above them. The best part about it is, they don't even realize it. Banks, movies, video games, newspapers, everything. It's controlled in the simplest of ways. Bullshit! You're saying that everyone that works in banks, Hollywood, video games companies, or even newspapers is part of this shit? No, you don't get it. They're just doing as they're told. They just do their job without knowing the true purpose of their function. That's how everything is controlled. How? Are you even listening? From the very first day you're born, they tell you what to think and how to think it. Education, it's an institution. How do you think terrorists make suicide bombers out of people? They grab you as a kid and keep telling you something until you're convinced by your entire self that this is the truth. The American system uses whatever it can at its disposal, be it religion, patriotism, or politics. Why do you think you still have to swear on a Bible in a court of law? The only reason it still exists within the system is because people buy into it. The system was built for the masses and it's worked for centuries because it's simple. The world falls for it every time. Even if you think you're fucking with the system, you're still part of it. Your mortgage, your credit card, your taxes, they're all part of the system of control. You can't escape it, no one can. The only way is to embrace it or put a bullet in your fucking head. And if you want to fight it, it won't change a fucking thing. Because the asshole right next to you is just following orders. Shut up already. That is all bullshit. You're full of shit, man. I think he's being honest here. And somehow I believe him. I've seen things in my life that really make me think twice about the world we live in. Do you really think that what they tell you in school is the truth? What about basic history? Were you there during the War of Independence? Were you there at the Gulf of Tonkin? Were you there during the assassination of JFK? History is written by the victor and it is tailored to suit a message. A message that feeds you what you want to believe. And they know it and they use it to shape you into what they know you will become. A law-abiding consumer whore that goes to work, buys groceries, pays his bills and does a prayer before drinking his soup. How do you know all this? Call it what you want. Logic, meditation, studying, or simply the fact that I was taught to know this. What's important is not how I know this, but whether you believe it. And if you do, what are you going to do about it? What can we do? Nothing. And that's the point. And they know it. This is why the system works. If you want to do something, you would have to destroy the entire human race and start all over again. But no one in their right mind has the guts to do it. You sound like a terrorist. I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm only calculating. Why don't you calculate my motherfucking foot up your ass? Yeah, 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 whatever. Now, are you guys ready to trust me or what? I trusted you, Matthew. When did I ever betray you? Don't you see? We're on the same side. You want to survive, I want to survive. And tell the whole world what happened here. No, you're wrong. By what you're telling us, you're a part of this system. Which means you will not let the world know about what happened here. Only your superiors, who will eventually do the same things these soldiers are trying to do. Which is silencing us! You are our enemy right now! But whatever. We're in this shit together. And we have to work as a team if we want to survive. Which brings us to the fact that this place is evil. And I don't know about you guys, and I don't know if you agree, and I don't care. But this is worse than hell. And I will do everything I can to destroy this facility. One way or another. In that case, count me in. Good. Now listen, I think that staying here isn't really our best option. I mean, yeah, we have supplies, but sooner or later, we are going to have to get to the surface. Also, those dead guys at the entrance, they must have used the helicopter we saw earlier in the core. And there's a strong possibility that they were a reconnaissance team sent to investigate. And guess what? Now they know we're here, and the next time they come, they're going to come prepared. So I think we should move to another secure location, preferably going up. 
It's not a good idea to get too close to the surface right now. But you're right, it's not a good idea to be too close to the bottom either. We've seen how quickly they can get here. Exactly. We need to make an inventory of what we're gonna need and what we can carry. We also need to figure out a way to go up. We can access the core, but from there we need someone on the other wing to open the access. Or we need a cipher, but we don't have any. And even if we did, we can't really control them from here. They're handled by the command post. Not if I can help it. The Cypher's AI is a simple pathfinder, okay? All I need to do is change the target and I uh, can... Uh, hang on, I've got a better idea. <laughs> oh my god, I am a genius. Bet you think you're real tight, huh? The Cyphers have a Wi-Fi connection and they communicate with each other, okay? So once I get the new Pathfinder target, I can make it go and tell the other Cyphers the new directives. Like a virus? Exactly! We pop in the new AI, it goes and sees his little flying buddies and shoves it into them, and then we'll have an army of flying ciphers at our disposal! This way, we could get anywhere we want! Sounds like a plan. But where are we gonna find a cipher? And how are you going to reprogram it? Who said anything about finding an entire cipher? Wait, you mean... Yes! This floor is the security floor for levels 0 and 3. People bump into ciphers all the time. They have this lousy collision detection system based on sonar, which is why they keep beeping all the goddamn time. Anyways, every time a cipher is broken, they store the parts until someone from tech supports comes to pick them up and recycle them. I'm pretty sure if we look in the storage rooms, we should be able to find some cipher parts. All right. Take you. You'll help me run the inventory and check the weapons and ammo we can carry. Brian, you check out food supplies and water. Make sure you pack it tightly into the boxes. Ben, you should start packing some computer hardware and radios just in case. Jake, you should know your way around the offices by now. Go back there and try and find the cipher parts and bring them back here. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Don't bring them here. Hold on. Where did I put that? Ah, here it is. Right here. This key card should open the workshop. It's near the dormitories. Just look around for big metal sliding doors with a key card reader. You can't miss it. If I'm not mistaken, there should be a cipher repair station there. Okay, but I can't go there to reprogram it. But we could store the program on a memory card. Yeah, that would work. All right, Jake, come here for a second. Come take a look at this. Look at this, okay? While you're looking through the storage rooms to find the ciphers, try to find a memory card like this one and bring it to me here. By then, hopefully I'll have the new program ready and I'll just upload it there and you can bring it to the repair station. All right, people, you all know what to do. Let's get to work. Hey, uh, thanks for stopping by. All right, here's where I'm at. Apparently, I managed to access the security network from this computer, which is great. But I don't know what the problem is exactly, but I'm having trouble navigating on the network. Okay, see, I have a few programs in my CD case that could help me navigate better, if you know what I mean. The problem is, my CD case is in my footlocker next to my bed in the dormitories of this floor. So, if you could go get it for me, that would be a huge help because I really want to smash this piece of shit open right now, you know? I feel like it's making fun of me, you know? Every time I'm trying to access something, it resets its connection. God, I hate that. Uh, anyway, if you could do this for me, I can give you my shoulder flashlight, all right? It's way better than the one you're using. I'm, I'm pretty sure it uses less batteries as well. Once you've got the cipher placed on the station, you'll need to power it up and insert that memory card I told you about. You'll do it. Brilliant. All right, so my foot locker is next to my bed, all right? It's on the second level. Um, it's the only one that's red, okay? And you'll find some computer stuff uh, under my so bed. I found the workshop already. Well. Okay, here's the key to the foot locker. I hope there's not too much trouble.
not want to die. Man, are you one of the security guards? Is like a safe place where you can take me, man? I haven't eaten since this morning. It looks like we go. Looks like a nice place to wait for the real rescue team. Thanks for bringing me, pal. Well done, Jake. 